we've decided to meet this afternoon on this uh, a sudden uh, sword cutting of affordable, that is how it is termed, affordable housing units that is taking place right now. We have a lot of issues as a minority group in parliament. You all know that we have over two million <laughs> deficits in housing, housing delivery that we should all help the government in power to address. Unfortunately for us, you know, uh, to take uh, this, there's an agreement between yeah. government of Ghana and a foreign company, which necessarily will have to come to parliament for approval or ratification. But there are a whole lot of issues that have to be sorted out before this approval could be made. Yesterday, we couldn't do it for very good reasons. You know, government on this part is giving state lands to this foreign company and other company, local companies as well. We were demanding valuation reports of the lands that are being given out to these foreign and the private entities. In the report, they have also indicated that government is going to have 40% stake in the project. 40% stake, we know that the foreign company is providing about 57, $57 million. If government is going to provide on-site infrastructure, roads, water, and other facilities, we don't even know the cost, what government is putting in, but they are giving us 40% stake in the project. So the minority yesterday, we were asking the minister to one, provide the valuation report of the land. I know the foreign company is going to get about 41 acres of land. So do all the other local companies. So we were demanding that they should give us the valuation reports of the land and the cost of infrastructure that the government is going to put in. Even though we were requesting for that, still the ministry was putting pressure on us to approve it. We have not had the answers. So we were invited to be part of the short cutting. We said no, because we are not going to support any illegality. I know we have projects that even started from President Kufo's time. If you go to Asokori Mampo and other places, even though NDC government put in some investment to complete those projects. We couldn't complete it. So our expectation was that this government will rather put in resources to complete the ongoing project, especially the Asokori Mampong and the uh, Sagleme projects. But that is where we are. Nanado and MPP administration, we don't want a situation where government commitment, at the end of it, government will not be able to even fulfill its own uh, commitment to the project. Because we know the previous investment in the housing sector suffered the same fate. Saglema, um, President Kufo started without any budgetary allocation. When we were at the ministry, when we were sent to the ministry at first, even though they've started, there wasn't any budget line to complete those projects. The same thing also happened. Government, part of the contract with Sagrame, government could not provide its part of the, 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 the contractual agreement. And the same thing is being repeated. So we ask ourselves, do we even learn from our past mistakes?